But we begin with that mother and her seven children in San Diego who fled persecution in Africa and are now begging for their father not to be deported tomorrow. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis is live downtown where the family and their church group held a rally today. Lauren? That's right, they marched up to the federal ICE office with 500 signatures asking for an emergency stay for their father's deportation. They say if he's deported, he will die. Through an interpreter, Annie Capongo describes a harrowing escape from Africa. And they raped me, and during that rape, I lost my baby of four months. Her family nearly drowned on their way to America, and she says what they faced here is terrible. They separated me from my husband more than a year ago. A judge here ruled she and her children could stay, but her husband, Konstantin Bakala, was sent to Georgia, where he faced a judge who is known to be hard on asylum seekers. He ordered Bakala be deported. So if he returns, he's going to be killed. So today, she, along with her seven children and church members from St. Luke's Episcopal Church in North Park, called out for help. No, no, it's much more. 488, 488 signatures. We are doing all that we can to tell ICE that this is not a priority deportation. He is not a burden on the state. He is not a threat. Their oldest daughter, Marie Bacala, who helps with the other children, was there begging for support. I need my father back. He's a very good person. He's, he's very kind. Congressman Juan Vargas was helpful in getting his first deportation date delayed, but that runs out tomorrow. They've petitioned the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, but time is running out. We believe that if Constantine is deported tomorrow, that he'll be murdered. And so it really feels like a matter of life and death for us right now. Now, a judge ruled that the mother and the seven children can stay here in San Diego. The father has already been moved from Virginia, from Georgia to Virginia to get ready for deportation. And if nothing changes, he will leave on a flight for Morocco tomorrow night. Reporting live from downtown, Lauren Davis, 10 News. Lauren,